In this video, we're going to take an introductory look at how to solve problems by using the order of operations. The order of operations tells us in what order we need to simplify an expression. We start by simplifying the parentheses. After the parentheses are simplified, next, we look at the exponents. After the exponents in a problem are simplified, next we look at any multiplication or division. To decide which to do first, with multiplication and division, we will always work from left to right. Which means in some problems, we'll multiply first, and in other problems, we'll divide first, depending on which comes first, left to right. Finally, we finish by doing any addition or subtraction. Also done from left to right. A nice mnemonic device to remember this order is the word PEMDAS. Or some people just remember a word for each letter, please, excuse, my dear, Aunt Sally. And that stands for parentheses first, exponents next, multiply and divide, and finally add and subtract. Also, by writing it vertically, that helps us remember to multiply and divide from left to right, and add and subtract from left to right. Let's try an example where we can see the order of operations worked out. In this problem, if we keep in mind PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we know we have to do the parentheses first, and inside the parentheses, the exponent must be done before the addition. So we have 5 minus 3 times 2 plus 4 squared, which is 16. Continuing to work on the parentheses, we have 2 plus 16. So now our problem reads 5 minus 3 times 18. Now that the parentheses are done, we work down the order of operations. There's no exponents, but we do have multiplication. We will multiply the negative 3 times the 8, which is negative 54. Finally, we can subtract, whoops, which is negative 54. Finally, we can subtract to finish out the problem, 5 minus 54, which is negative 49. And that completes the problem. Let's take a look at another problem that might be a little more involved following the order of operations. In this problem, as we keep in mind, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, first we have to start with the parentheses. In parentheses, we have 4 minus 7, so that's what we will do first. 30 divided by 5 times 2 plus 4 minus 7 is negative 3 squared. Next, order of operations gives us exponents. We do the exponent next. 30 divided by 5 times 2 plus, and negative 3 squared is 9. Whoops, 30 divided by 5 times 2 plus 9. Next, we do our multiplication and division, which must be done from left to right, which means division comes first, reading left to right. 30 divided by 5 is 6, times 2, plus 9. Still multiplying, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 9. And finally, the addition to finish off the problem. 12 plus 9, is 21, and that completes the problem. If we keep in mind the order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, we can simplify many different expressions.